Okay, Navi versus Cloud9 is our first best of two. Or rather, the revert on the nerf to Fate Bolt uh, actually coming to play here. Fate Bolt is slightly cheaper now. Oh, the roll punished. in though! Pyke does get first blood, so this. Uh, will not go unpunished and so Pudge is now level 2 and this lane for Brewmaster just got a lot more difficult Even if he was with uh -oh. 5 level 1 Again, if... he's caught again Joe, yeah. in a lot of trouble. Is there Orb of Venom? No, there's no Orb of Venom on the Doesn't Pudge matter. But there is on the Spirit Bear plus the Blightstone, that's a second kill Especially when you don't have your defenses but now they pull back the SF Baby Knight in trouble Nope, not at trouble at all, Baby Knight drops the double raise Noya Maybe kicking. There's a roll though. 80% slow, very strong stuff. RMN still getting slowed there. The kick comes out. The SF will be looking for that raise, holding it. No. A lot of roaming going around, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, we got Rise. Level 5 on the Crystal Maiden is going to get hooked. Yeah. That Observer what? Paying dividends, but Rise, is he going to outspeed them? I don't believe so. Rise getting closer with the Fart Cloud and the roll coming in though, RMN. Oh wow, is the Crystal Maiden really getting out? He does have another spell though. And uh, yeah, Biver might run in there, try and Fate Bolt the CM. He's still out of range, Baby Knight will claim him. So that's gonna be a kill that way. I think C9 are powerful enough to actually want to fight over this. Hester Joe's getting a lot of farm in the meantime. With the ability to come in with the split, this then is DDD. incredibly risky by not being then here. DDD. But the roll in here, the kick will land on MP once again, but Pycat will scoot on out. It's a really fast uh, movement speed there on that hero, but the Primal split will have those pandas getting Pycat's number. The flame comes in, the raise comes out. Pycat very low ticking. He will get clubbed down by Noya and he will roll forward there. The Cyclone will cause him to miss the roll in, but uh, Rubik is uh, gonna be having his head in the clouds there. Burst damage coming in. Puss tries to rescue him. Fantastic here. Primal Split is by far the best, but that would require him surviving until the end of Primal Split. Esther Joe's gonna pick a fight with RMN right now with Split available top. Yep, the fire comes down, that's a lot of damage onto that panda, but the panda does have the ulti, so one more orb here, he will have to back off, so he deploys that primal split, Dendi's in trouble, there's the cyclone to take away his- Oh, oh wow. no! There's a cyclone to take away his haste? No, this one doesn't work that way, okay. But the kick comes in there, the Rubik steals that kick, but uh, they will actually lose their- They'll actually lose their OD as a result, I'm- It's very interesting that the cyclone animation works that way, but now Joe, in trouble, the hook coming out from RMN, We'll find a panda, and uh, Biver not actually stealing that one. The bite comes out onto Noya. Biver tried, trying to look for an opening here. Has Frostbite, but nothing much he can really do about that. Now deploys that ultimate general, trying to piece out. Will he get out in time? Nope, the triple kill for Baby Knight happens. Do something funny again, but Rise walks right into our man. Very well known for solo warding, solo wandering around on his own. Uh, gonna get picked off, but there might be a retaliation kill here. Our man, ooh, losing a lot of life very fast, and Noya. Actually securing that kill with the kick. Yeah. They see Ace though, I don't think that's something you want to pull in. They go for the hook anyway. Bite on the Ursa before he pops his Enrage. Savage Roar, is it there? There's the lift off. He does deploy that Enrage, Iron Man. There's the Savage Roar. Is it going to pop that Aegis? Yes, it will. So PyCat, I think, should be running away now. But Noya, Lone Druid, is still running really fast. OD, they drop the Sentry Ward though. Baby Knight deploys that Raccoon of Souls. Not going to be enough damage though. The Pit of Malice comes in, locks in the SF. Raccoon is stolen, but Rubik does not get a chance to use it. Joe goes in, slams the ground, it's gonna start with the primal split, and OD, gonna get lifted up, nope, gonna banish himself, but I don't think he's gonna be able to buy himself that much time, the race is gonna be there, and Baby Knight claims another, Joe, Dendi would just go banish and run, I think, or they just leave Iron Man, they hook in the Shadow Fiend, the lift is there, but Biver, gonna walk right into Anoya, and that's right, Anoya, there's the Shadow Fiend with the strike again, gets the monster kill. I think they want to fight because uh, there are not enough heroes, but there's the Brewmaster, and he's gonna go right in there, and Avi are in a bad position. General is gonna go down, but there will be a save here on Dendi, so a nice little hook there, Iron Man. Gonna be pretty happy about that, but PyCat is spinning in the clouds. There's six seconds of holy goodness, he's gonna get kicked out of there, and there you go, the hook's not gonna save him this time, but the Savage Roll will. They will not get the punch save, and Baby Knight claims his life from the back lines. It's beyond godlike at this point, and I wouldn't be surprised if Na'Vi called the GG. 27 to 7. It's brutality here. He <laughs> himself away. Joe is gonna get struck down by Pycat. There's a lot of DPS coming out. Pycat just going for the long range strikes, but Rise has that freezing field. He's got his number. The four staff is there. Try and buy some time, but Noya there, body blocking Pycat. The bear tries to get something done, but he gets smacked down. Maul, the little man. Destroyed by the bigger bear and general gonna die for the upteenth time and uh, cloud nine will strike Navi out of star series I mean, this is a guaranteed out right 
for this loss. But we have a Tinker. Gonna switch it over. Yeah, we go. Our ace, bot. Oh, they got him. Did they, did they catch him? Yeah, Terrorblade, low strength in this match probably. Gonna go down and Dendi scoring the first blood. That's gonna really help that bottle. Last hits under his belt. But uh, once this dual lane really comes together, level 2 Ion Shell is up. Uh, of course, Darkseid needs a little bit more mana to actually use that, but... And now PyCat's time gets a lot more difficult, because this happens. Oh, they surge up Slaughter, bottom lane, PyCat gonna juke around the trees, and he should be okay as he has wasted a lot of that surge timing already. Just kidding, the Bloodlust comes out, he is still gonna be staying alive for now. But Noya has a secondary crush as well as that surge, so that's PyCat going down. He tries to TP, but he gets smashed into the ground. So that's Pop. Noya killing him off. Oh, smoke. Yeah. It'll, it'll require a lot of aggression, but baby knight. Oh dear, that is not good. They're not gonna be able to kill Dandy with just a Slada and Oracle, mm -hmm. though. So bad for C9 right now. Like, I mean, the travels are just step one. Oh, they right? find Once baby knight as well. That's an knight. eclipse. That's perfect for them. And uh, they will strike down the earth. Like, like once that laser drops, your DPS just plummets to zero, and baby knight is gonna get lifted up top. Yeah, Oracle mid middle lane. Careful, the right click from Dendi is enough and well, he got Boots of Travels. And he's now getting even more kills, General getting caught out there, there's gonna be a jump away, General kites him. Baby Knight just having a, having a terrible day, he has that raindrop, but General really wants to give chase, he does have another spirit. Dendi gets another kill meanwhile with that Boots of Travel teleportation, General gotta get the chain off. And now they're really just kiting Baby and now they're really just kiting Baby Knight on this Ursa. He is very survivable though. A lot worse if General finds him. I think they're going for Darkseer instead. Joe is going to come in. There's the fire. There's the double chain as well. There is going to be a power on the Baby Knight. General just used his remnant to actually hit Baby Knight. So General is probably going to fall here. A good kill. Meanwhile, Dendi blows up Ace. The Terror Blade. Lesser farm variants now with the oh, support Ace. ones. Oh, there's Ace. That is a Sunder, but he gets powered on there by the Spirits, and Dendi's rockets were there as well, so... Rubik with the Illusions, but Dendi is here. Shoots Baby Knight once, there's a lift down, there's the Shrine, he will top him up, but he's getting locked down non-stop! Getting Blink Dagger is one thing, using it to get on top of the Tinker is quite another, as long as Dendi is on point. He has a laser and a Blink Dagger himself. And the Etherlands, so the effective range of this tinker is very, very high. They are going to find an angle on PyCat, though. Oh. That's a Bible kill. Yeah, that's a possible kill. The back, back in there. PyCat in a lot of trouble. Oh, but he's still juking. The Corrosive Haze is there. The Fire Blast stops him down. But a Rise will secure that with the Purifying Flame. And now Iron Man will be door number two there for Cloud9. And they see Rise. Oh, Rise. Jeez. They yeah, general decide to not him. go for Rise, go for Ace instead. Piles in, yep, no, nope, they get him. Yep, then he's got light. Ace is gonna farm in the jungle. Did they see him? I think they saw him, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. they're gonna scout, they're gonna walk right into him, and he does not have an escape option. Gets caught there by the Ignite. Gotta put him on Ice 4 now, maybe throw out a Sunder. I think Sunder is pretty useless at this point. Rocket, round two, the laser as well. Dendi comes in, shoots him one more time, and that's gonna be the holy shit for Dendi. And in and the Luna. meantime, High Cat, per usual, split pushing over in the mid lane. Oh. He's gonna get jumped though. Got to him back and annoy as well. It's crush gonna get stolen though. Crush is on the earth, so he's gonna buy Pi Cat some time. Pi Cat, risky plays. Does he get punished? No, he does not. Here comes the Eclipse. It's gonna beam down hard on Baby Knight, but Baby Knight's enraging all of it. Pi Cat's gonna lose his Aegis. Nope, the lasers come in. The Fate Ball will secure that as well. That was not the Soul Ring you were looking for. And Dendi wipes the floor with. Cloud9, 8 to 18, and uh, puzzles me. Cloud9 were playing awesome in game number one, and then suddenly in game number two, Navi just flipped the tables on them. And in, in that last fight that we just saw, Tinker feels bad, man. Pops the Enrage, dispels the Veil, but there's protection all around. Noya gets Juke there. Rubik once again steals it, steals the Crush as well. Insult to injury all around. Ace of Joe gonna run away, and I think GG is in the books here as the Toxia scoots on out. Oracle says, well, that's the last thing I can do for you, friend. Goodbye, and Dendi shoots him with the laser. Dendi has for teleporting in to reinforce. I remember that yep. as well. Slada. Gonna get bailed out. That's the first Oracle save I've seen with that ultimate. Most people die a lot faster than he can save. Dendi, 
is gonna shoot ace mana is out oh baby knight goes in there to crush as well as that vacuum is gonna buy some time high cat in a lot of trouble he does have that aegis still though ace is losing a lot of his illusions he's the last one standing baby knight gonna take a lot of beams along with his darts here but they share the love so they stay alive but generals here says no sir slams the door on cloud nine shuts them out of game number two so they might have just lost their chances at qualification as well navi not the type well i mean Obviously, you need two O's, but even a tie is not the end of the world for our next.